Wait, uh, on Roxanne, right? What's gonna be on Roxanne? Oh, the pan over, the completed? Yeah. Okay. Roxanne. Roxanne is the name of the this morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? My name is Bianca and welcome to Vintage on Tap, the YouTube channel that shows you the behind the scenes steps and process of sewing. In this particular video though, we will be making a Seamwork Magazine Kristen top, which is this one here. But let's go ahead and get started. Should we start with the cutting the fabric? Do you want to include that this time around? I feel like it's been a while since we've shown that. Okay, we can we can do some B-roll of cutting fabric. So we may have to do a lot of overhead shots of like the front and the back as we're working. Mm -hmm. But I'll go ahead and start giving you the breakdown. You ready? I started Vintage on Tap because I actually just wanted to have a hobby blog. <laughs> I've like had a blog for years. I actually had a blog for years on LiveJournal back in the day, way, way back. And uh, after LiveJournal, like the little community that I was a part of in LiveJournal kind of it was like starting to die out and everything. I'm like, well, might as well just have my own website. So I set up my website and uh, I didn't post for a long time. And then I kind of, I would come in and out of it. And eventually I'm like, you know, I would really like to do this more often. And so at that point I started taking more pictures and trying to kind of show a little bit more, um, you know, process stuff. But even those posts were like few and far between until I decided to like really knuckle down and get serious about it. The next shot is kind of like we did the one, two, three darts stacked on top of each other. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we can play that one by ear. Like, we can do, you can do one, and I can, each of the darts I can shoot from a different place. Mm -hmm. And at the end, we can have a reveal of that are actually video one. Okay. Does that work? Yeah. The, the very first thing is I wait for four hours for her to get ready. I think that's the, I think that's what takes the longest. Um, and then we write a shot list and usually we discuss of like how is she going to do things and then we discuss on the way she works things because I don't know anything of sewing. So a lot of the times she says something and then I have no idea what she means. But we figure all those, all those things out throughout the shot list. So we keep our stuff in a box because we live in a building that was built in the 1800s. <laughs> so we have no storage space here, <laughs> other than one closet for the whole house. So yeah. we store our lights, our clapperboard that is broken here. <laughs> um, so at first I was just helping Bianca. Um, I, I thought that uh, what she was doing with her blog had a lot of potential, um, but then I kind of, like fell in love with bringing ideas like what if we did this what if we did that what if and then we sort of sunk into this whole world now we're doing youtube videos um and this has become much bigger than ourselves at this point and in a way i'm still doing it because i don't know how to stop because i'm i have a lot of fun but i also really like the joy that it brings to bianca like i really like how empowering it is to her and every time there we have a win it's it, it feels amazing setting up the machine yeah i mean i still have to cut the fabric though okay got it. yeah so let me go ahead and just cut everything real fast and then okay we'll i started sewing 15 years ago at least uh, i was in high school and i literally saw dresses online because i was really into japanese street style and i'd see dresses online I'm like i want that so bad but i don't know how to get it and i don't have any money and it doesn't fit so <laughs> so that's kind of when I, I challenged myself to start sewing it was just like i want that and i'm going to make it and the rest is history how am i gonna roll with this I do if I cut this here and cut this Y'all are just watching me play Tetris right now. <laughs> Since starting the blog, I have improved as a seamstress because 
I pay attention to all these tiny little details. How does it look on the inside? Is this even gonna look good on camera? Does it actually represent the real way you're supposed to do this? So I'm a lot more, not analytical, but a lot more intentional in how I'm doing even the small, tiny little tasks because those little tasks show up on camera and I definitely do not want to show you guys work that is not to the par or not to the standard that it should be done. It works out in the end, okay? Because right, these are gonna overlap because it's in the same chunk, but this cuts off here. That means that I have just enough space to get this within the seam. Oh, yes. I'm good, I'm so good. Okay. <laughs> I'm always in love with the last project we do. It always changes. Like I don't have a favorite video that we have done in general, but I'm always, like, I feel like we get better and better with every video. So I'm always in love with the last one. Like right now we, uh, on the on YouTube, I think the last one might be uh, ser uh, three ways of enhancing your self-esteem. And it came out really well. Um, there was a couple of things I did with framing that were different um, and it worked out really well. So right now I'm liking that video, but I know that as soon as the next video comes out, then that is going to be my new favorite video. Um, I very much enjoy filming um, and this gives me an opportunity to do that. If I could do this all the time, that'd be amazing. Um, so eventually I have the blog doing good enough so that we can both live off of it. That'd be ideal for like, by next year. A year from now, I see the blog bigger and better. <laughs> That's such a generic answer though. No, um, I, a year from now, I want to be able to see the blog um, consistent. I want to be able to see that we've been able to put out a video or a post every single week so that people can count on it. I want to be able to build up all of the uh, technique videos and all these sort of like resource videos. Um, that's at least on the content side. Um, outside of the blog, I want to be able to at the very least go to sewing events and either be able to host workshops or be able to kind of have more of a a voice within the community. Uh, I'm not sure yet what that looks like, but it would be really cool to be able to network with people in person and like help people so in real life. Like it's one thing to do it on video, but it's another thing to be able to sit next to somebody at a sewing machine and actually make that happen. So you can find me at vintageontap.com. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook uh, at vintageontap. You can go ahead and just search it up on online. Uh, I do post mostly on Instagram and I also do have a newsletter which you can find at my website.